name is Robert Horton and I am the Vertical Farm Technician here at Wigan University Technical College. Vertical farming is rather than continue to expand our farms outwards, to expand them upwards. So rather than build a 10 acre greenhouse and have 10 acres physically taken up, why not build an acre greenhouse and do 10 layers on top of it? Due to the increase in population, which is going to hit 9 billion by 2050, we're going to rely heavily on future technologies and that's where hydroponics plays a massive part. This specific vertical farm can grow plants that you would normally grow on an acre and a half in the space of the room behind us. Uh, first we sow them and then they're placed in the propagation room and after a few weeks um, they are placed on the hydroponic unit in the, in the troughs and after that, once they are fully grown, they are harvested. We grow a wide variety of things. We focus mainly on herbs because that's what we use downstairs in the production kitchen. However, we have grown lettuce, we've grown chilies, we've grown peppers. Um, we grow a lot of Chinese herbs for a local Chinese restaurant, so we grow the pak choy, the choy sum and the kai lin. We grow in a hydroponic conveyor belt. It does one revolution every half hour. Um, we use that system to water the plants so that each plant can get the same amount of water but also we use it so they can share the sunlight and get the same amount of sunlight. So the plants are grown in a synthetic soil um, and it's done this way so that you can monitor how much water's going through it and how much water the plant's absorbing and the growing rate. It basically recycles the water that it uses so the plants take in the amount of water that they need but then the remainder water which would normally be uh, drained into the earth it's collected and pumped around the system back into the plant again. It's 90% less water than what you'd use in a natural field. Well, I originally come from a farming family and we're very limited by the seasons, so we have to sow everything in the spring and then harvest it throughout the year. Here, we can be sowing all year round, harvesting all year round. If you're a farmer, you can have a bad day, you can have a good day, it just depends on what the weather wants but you can control that with a vertical farm. And grow vertically, we can grow on rooftops, we can grow in a building such as this, where traditionally you would need acres and acres of fields to do such a thing. Hydroponics is still evolving as to how we're using it. In, say, Japan, for example, where there's a lot of people in a small space, they have started turning all the old technology factories where they used to make floppy drives and CD drives, which are now obsolete, and they've started creating plant factories where they'll literally just grow nothing but one crop, so say they'll grow nothing but lettuce or nothing but pak choy. This is giving them lots of fresh, healthy vegetables. Since the growing population, in, especially in the, in the coming future, I definitely think that the, um, the vertical farm hydroponics will definitely be used more, more and more around the world. Food security is something that's becoming very important very quickly. We're an expanding population in England. There's more and more people and we're building houses all the time, which means there's less farmland. We either have to ship it in from abroad, which means your food is a week, two weeks old by the time it gets to you, or you can grow it here in a vertical farm. We can harvest food here and be using it, cooking it, have it delivered in an hour. I am a high school teacher who teaches grades 10 to 12. My students, through my guidance, ran a six-week test on HydroGrow's 504-watt vertical light in conjunction with Omega Garden's Folks Garden unit. I decided to use HydroGrow's 504-watt LED vertical light over any other light for several reasons. The vertical light does not contain any mercury. It produces little to no heat, is long-lasting with a projected life of up to 15 years, and it uses a lot less electricity than other lights. The vertical light uses 504 
one watt high powered LEDs. Notice how bright the light is on my student. The actual power draw on the vertical light is 420 watts. My students planted five varieties of heirloom organic lettuce, cherry tomatoes, and mini bell peppers. After letting the seeds sprout for a week and a half, my students then planted them in the Volks Garden. The Volks Garden is a hydroponic unit that will grow 80 plants at once. A motor will turn the wheel in a full circle every hour. A reservoir on the floor contains a water pump that is hooked up to a digital timer. With a scheduled watering cycle, the water pump will turn on for one hour intervals which will allow all the plants to get nutrients. The first seven days brought tremendous growth to all of the plants. with HydroGrow's vertical light really impressed me. I enjoy the easy use and maintenance of the Volks Garden. Putting plants into the unit was very simple, and the Volks Garden is so self-automated and zen-like. The Volks Garden grows 80 plants in a 4x4 space. It uses much less water and nutrients than any other hydroponic system that I've ever worked with. The speed of growth, the construction quality, the simplicity, the low maintenance, all make the Wilkes Garden the best hydroponic system that I've ever worked with. I look forward to growing with it many times over in the future. The vertical light from HydroGrow amazed me in the six weeks that I tested it with my students. The plants were incredibly healthy with deep green colors. I was also especially excited with how the vertical light caused the cherry tomatoes to start to flower at day 21 and that it also produced a ripe tomato at day 35. 
The variety of tomatoes that we planted were supposed to take 90 days to grow. The number of flowers and tomatoes in six weeks really shows me the quality of light that HydroGrow is producing. The vertical light from HydroGrow is perfectly matched with Omega Gardens and Volks Garden. I believe everyone should have one of these in their home and they should be growing their own fresh herbs, tomatoes, 